If you go down to the woods today, be sure of a big surprise. Hey guys, Dan from World of Mr. Grey. We are back with Find Yourself. The game that, that genuinely stresses me out, but I gotta finish it. I do know that this game isn't long, so I'm hoping I'm close to the end, to be honest, because... I don't know how much more I can take of this. <laughs> As always, I'm stalling. <laughs> I'm stalling. <laughs> oh my god. So, this is part three. Is that too loud? I have no idea anymore. No, I bloody dear. Yes, this is part three of Find Yourself. The horror game that has, uh, has ruined my childhood. In the horror sense. <sighs> Look, I'm just hovering over the, the continue button. Let's just bloody do it. I can't remember where I am. I think I beat a clown last time or something. Was it that? Was that the last one? I can't. I, I don't. That is so loud! Oh, I remember now. Something gro crawled at me. Why is it so loud? Something calls me here. I know it does. It still made me jump! Why can't I see? Oh shit, right. Don't look behind you. Just a word of warning, I always forget, I do swear a lot in this in these games. <laughs> just, just a word of warning, so if it's not for the faint hearted. Uh, it is so loud! It's stupidly loud. Oh, I hope I'm I really hope I'm to the end of this game. If you see me going like that, it means I'm, I'm trying to hide behind my eyebrows. My eyebrows. <laughs> see, I didn't have my torch on when she crawled back to me last time, so gladly I missed it, but it still made me jump. Death is your only escape. Ah, fuck. There was something there, then. <laughs> there was definitely something there, I just turned around too slow to see it. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Feel free to scream whenever you want. Jesus. Even the transitions make you jump in this bloody game. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a note. <laughs> Hell, man! It's just a note! I avoided the underground subway so that I would no longer face my fears. Until this day, I managed to cope with them. It was, I had no idea if that's a note I was supposed to pick up in the beginning. Or right now. Oh wait, something's changed. I'm usually such a brave boy. If I gotta find another, oh, another note. Yeah, there you go. Jesus, what was that? I have no idea if you can hear that, but it's... There's whispering going on, and it, it, the sound is that good. It feels like it's right behind you. <sighs> Something unknown scared me. I was afraid of non-existent monsters, and it was just my imagination. I didn't want to believe that my mother was the real monster. The boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. It was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city, near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on holiday with his father. Is they, are they the, um, are they talking about the ones when I've been doing those flashbacks in that kid's bedroom? And the one where I was in the fairground and stuff? It's gotta be, innit? After I was abducted by a maniac in the clown costume, my consciousness separated from reality, and I began, began to plunge into the astral. Can I pick that clown up? Is there something waiting for me? Oh, there's another thing. Oh, God. I need this to end soon. I really do. Stephen and Nancy are right. I saw that in the bedroom. The people depicted in the photos were my real parents. I couldn't put it together then because I was too young to understand, but now I understand. Oh, so I'm the kid. I'm the kid all grown up by the sounds of it. 
Tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital. A man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple. Enter into trust and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. There's something behind me. Oh shit, it's the clown again. Look, he's growling as well. I can hear him growling. Can I zoom? I can, can I? Oh, his eyes have changed. His eyes weren't like that before. He had proper eyes, human eyes. Now he's got demon eyes or something. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Oh, there's another note. The red sun lights up the path of the white knight. He will be able to find a way out if he follows against the black darkness. A woman in a blue dress whispered to him, Be strong, my white knight, for there is a struggle ahead of you. For the green meadows, the knight found a way... The knight found a way out how to free the flower meadows. To do this, he needs to return to the dark land and defeat the black witch. And he did. Then the sun shone... The sun shone and a bright yellow light, freeing every corner of the green earth from the darkness. These symbols mean something, they definitely do. Ah, shit. Right, okay. I gotta work something out then. Right, so... Star, cross, ankh... No, sorry, star, cross... Uh, what's that? Star, David, ankh... Cross again. Upside down triangle. Oh, there's loads of them. Right, star, cross, David, ankh, cross. Star... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Is that a star? Oh, that star. Star. Cross. Uh, that one. S star David. Cross again. There's no one here. Oh no, wait, Ankh. It was Ankh, wasn't it? Yes, Ankh. Now it's a cross. I can't get past though. Ah, cross. Dude, check me out. Check me out! Right, so now there's. Uh, is that a pyramid triangle maybe? Upside down pyramid. Weird looking fractal thing. Star. Then circle with a cross. So upside down. That. Um. Forgotten. <laughs> Fractal star circle. Jesus Christ! I did it! Oh shit, a person. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh bloody hell. Was that supposed to be me? I've no idea. Oh. Peter, are you ready to talk about your childhood? I'm Peter, I'm assuming. Oh, that was the doctor on the bench then. That's him, is it? From an early age, my life was a nightmare. After my mother disappeared, I lived in an orphanage. I didn't tell anyone what really happened. At least this part is sort of calm. Do you still have nightmares? At the shelter, my nightmares stopped. I couldn't stop thinking that I had killed my mother. I lived with this pain, this guilt, all my life. Now I found out that it was a runaway psychos who killed my real parents when I was very young and took over our lives. Oh, so... Right, so what I'm gathering is his parents were killed by these two people and they, those two people brought him up. I think. How did you know that? Today, after all these years, I went astral again. I saw everything that happened to me at that time. Is that where you met her? And what happened next? <laughs> I don't know why I'm just looking out the window. I'm reflecting, I suppose. <laughs> I conquered her and overcame my fears, and I realized that when I was a child, I saved myself. Oh shit, I don't think so. I can hear the growl. Oh my god. Oh, the doctor's the, d the devil or demon, whatever. minutes that's it I'm shocked I was expecting something different 
I, I must, I have to be, <laughs> have to be honest. I was genuinely expecting like another chapter or something. See, I should, uh, I could have ended this in part two. Brilliant game. I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, the ending is weird only because I made it into a three-parter, but it clearly should have just been a two-parter. If I'd stuck with it last time, if I had the balls to stick with it, look, I would have bloody done it. Is anything going to get me? Find yourself. Wait, I knew what? Is this the beginning again? Oh wait, I'm the other side. I, in the beginning of this game, I was there. I think. Is it? Is the telephone box there? No, it's not. Where, what the hell am I doing then? I have no torch. Just, oh, yes, I do. That happened last time when I started this game, but this is different. And the telephone box is in a different place. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it hasn't ended then. It was just a bloody ploy. Oosh. Jesus Christ. Okay, it definitely hasn't ended. This is all new. Wait a minute. He didn't make me jump. If a nightmare has haunted you once, don't you think it has let uh, has it, don't you think it has let you go in the end? What's going on? <laughs> what the hell was that all about? <laughs> oh wait, I know what that was. I know what that was. You'll have to go back to the beginning of the very first episode of this Find Yourself. I I know what that was. Now in the beginning, I was in that train subway area. And I saw something crawl in the distance. When I turned around, there was something behind those gates. I was that person. I was the demon. I think. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pretending to know what the hell was going on. I have no clue. Yeah, I could have finished that in part two. <laughs> God. But I am glad it's over. I do highly recommend it. It's very, it's very cheap on Steam. I challenge anyone to play it. I really do. I challenge anyone to play it. <laughs> Oh my god, this is, like, this This has had some of the worst scares I've ever had in a video game. And I've played a lot of uh, horror games, let me tell you. It's quite extreme, but a very short game. And like I said, the ending was a bit weird, only because I was sh I should have finished that in part two instead of, <laughs> instead of waiting a bloody week and making a new video. But anyway, I have no idea what other game I'm going to play next uh, if you want to let me know i know these uh, these videos don't do very well but i still enjoy making them but anyway that was find yourself and i challenge anyone anyone to play this game what doll watch doll i challenge you what doll <laughs> but anyway that's it uh, leave a like if, uh, if you like this video leave a sub if you're new to my channel i do these sort of quite often yeah leave leave a comment below what game to play next and um, yeah anyway hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye for now Thank you.